In this lesson, you'll learn three different techniques to achieve the ideal window settings in the Graphs application. The Window Zoom menu contains several useful options. You can also adjust window settings directly, or grab and drag the screen and axes to suit your needs. Start with a new document and insert a Graphs application. Graph the function negative x squared plus 7x plus 8. I can't see the top of the graph, and there's a lot of wasted real estate to the left, so it's worth experimenting with the window settings. Press the menu key, select Window Zoom, and you'll see that this menu has several options that just might work. Given that most of the key features of the graph are in the first quadrant, I'll select this option. I still can't see the turning point, and now most of my graph occupies the left of screen. I could continue checking these zoom options, however, there is a shortcut. Move the mouse over the X or Y axis. Press Control followed by Menu. Select Attributes. Navigate down to the second item, Zoom. Now, use the left and right arrow keys to toggle through the most common zoom options, and each time you do, you get a preview of the graph. Zoom Decimal shows the key features, but now the graph is a little bit narrow. I'll go back to the Window Zoom menu. This time I'll select Zoom Box. Zoom Box is a bit like the selection tool in a drawing package. Move the mouse over the top left corner of the region you require, and click. Now move the mouse to the bottom right corner, and click. Now our graph occupies most of the screen, and this customised screen now becomes our latest user defined screen, so we can always come back here quickly and easily. Now let's explore how to adjust the window zoom settings directly. This can be done through the window zoom menu, or by editing the corresponding values on the screen directly. Move the mouse over the maximum X value. When the mouse tip says Text, click once to select the item, then again to edit. I'll set the maximum X value as 12. Now press Tab. The cursor naturally makes its way clockwise around the axis endpoints. You can also adjust the X and Y axis scale. You may also want to see each tick mark labelled. Let's add another graph. Press Tab. Enter the straight line equation y equals negative 2x plus 8. The straight line crosses the parabola at x equals 0, and somewhere to the lower right of screen. Our third option for changing the window settings is to simply grab the screen. Place the mouse in a blank region of the screen, and then click and hold. Watch as the hand scrunches up the otherwise flat plane. Now simply drag the plane to where you need it to be. You can also dilate both axes by grabbing, or hold down the shift key to dilate them independently.